Rust never sleeps. Your favorite truck rotting away. Painting something with a good quality top coat helps if it's new and you can get on some clean base metal. But once anything has a start of rust to it, really tough to get it under control unless you, you know, sand it or grind it down to bare metal again. Or you have to put on an anti-corrosion type coating. Now there's already a lot of products out there for this purpose. Um, fluid film is one of the ones I've used a lot in the past. And although it works decent, better in the uh, bulk cans than the spray cans, these are convenient, but it still gets a bit pricey and you have to reapply it every season. Another common method is just to take used motor oil, spray it on the frame and under carriage. And although it does work, again, it doesn't last very long and you lose a lot of it that just drips off into your driveway. So what I've been trying to come up with is an undercoating that hits all the uh, check marks. It's got to be fairly cheap to make. It's got to go on pretty easy, spread out onto the frame, you know, co good coverage. It's got to go on pretty thick, stay thick, and uh, eventually harden up and tack up to the point where it's not um, liquid anymore and gathering a bunch of dirt. And without getting in, into any high-end materials, I mean, you hear people using Cosmoline or Morgoil or all sorts of other crazy stuff. Unfortunately, you can't go down to the hardware store and buy that. So, we're trying to stick with off-the-shelf materials here. We got some motor oil, some grease, not the cat, and here's the secret ingredient so far, boiled linseed oil. And what this stuff does is, it goes on liquid, but it does dry out, or technically I guess it oxidizes as they say. and turns tacky into a, uh, a tough substance there. So first up we got a quart of oil. This was like a buck fifty-nine at the good old Rural King. Some grease. This was like a couple bucks a tube. Ideally you can get it a lot cheaper in bulk. You know if you get an old barrel or something somebody's getting rid of you can kind of scrape out the uh, remnants of it. I scraped all of this grease out of an old barrel that I was going to make into a burn barrel. It's nice and tacky. So there's two tubes worth of grease, or 24 ounces. They come in a 14 ounce tube each. Now if you're like me and wait until the last minute when it's nice and cold outside, it helps to have a hot plate to kind of get all this stuff mixed in together. But if you don't have one, it just takes a little bit longer. So we're going to put in a quart of oil. Now you could use used motor oil for this. Um, doesn't really matter. But again, if you need to buy it from the store, just get the cheapest stuff you can get. Yeah, so there's some used motor oil. So we'll get this heating up a little bit and start stirring it and mixing it in there. Not going to put the uh, linseed oil in until later. and. Uh, that's what we'll also put in the diesel fuel if we need any. Granted, this may take a while, but if you put too much oil in, it'll never stay thick enough to uh, tack up. Now I've experimented with different types of uh, thinners and like you know xylene solvents and stuff to try and break down this grease, and certain ones work for certain types of grease, um, other ones don't. I've found in the end just mixing the motor oil with the uh, grease seems to be about the best all around uh, way to break it down and thin it out. Now these undercoating spray guns make life so much easier when you're trying to do this. I mean these work great even when you're spraying maybe a gallon of fluid film in bulk on the things. Definitely worth the investment I think if you're going to be doing this to uh, get one of these guns if you've got multiple vehicles. I mean worst case you can always use a paintbrush or something to uh, put this on with but so once you get everything stirred up until it's uh, all the chunks are out of it and it's basically like uh, I guess the consistency of pancake batter that's when you're good to add in the rest of the stuff so the linseed oil helps thin it out a little bit more 
once it's all stirred up good. You can add a little bit of diesel fuel or kerosene to get the uh, right consistency if it needs thinned out a little bit more. I like having some diesel fuel in there just to help it kind of creep and spread out when you spray it. Uh, not too much though because it will thin it out quite a bit. That should do it. And there it is. Now since the linseed oil will uh, harden up over time, I would definitely store it in a sealed container. Now that one batch should get you through about one vehicle. You know, give or take how thick you put it on and how big of a vehicle it is. Now ideally you want to keep this stuff as thick as you can uh, while still being easy to apply. Because the thicker you make it, you know, the thicker of a layer is going to stay on the frame or, you know, underside of the body panels. Uh, you make it too thin and it's just going to sag and run off. As you can see, this consistency gives you a decent coating. Uh, you could almost go a little bit thicker if you can shoot it through your gun.